Hi everyone, Shirtlad here. A while ago, Zephyr the Robot had suggested I cover the Sandrock, Kai and the Zuda as they appear in the Gundam vs games. Specifically in EX vs Full Boost. Now here's the thing. The former is a DLC unit, which I can't really access and I haven't found the files for it when I was going for the emulation option. As such, I've decided to meet the fella halfway and cover the Sandrock Kai in a previous game. The Gundam Sandrock Custom, or Sandrock Kai, is a mobile suit from Gundam Wing, piloted by Butters Starch. In Next Plus, it is implemented as a CPU-controlled enemy in the Next Plus mode, and an assist attack courtesy of the 2000 cost Deathsaf Hill, the TV version, not the Endless Waltz one from later games. In the game you can summon Quatre's machine from Wing's latter half up to 4 times per life, with the attack being composed of two heat shuttles being thrown as the Sandrock Kai fires its beam machine gun. This attack has a deceptively long range, but its accuracy isn't the best from afar. It always comes out from the left. According to the GameFAQs guide to the game, it deals anywhere from 48 to 90 damage, depending on how many shots connect, with the shuttles stunning an enemy on impact. The Sandrock Kai provides the Death Scythe Hell with a semi-spammable source of projectiles, which comes in handy for filling in for the lack of proper projectiles, since let's face it, the Death Scythe Hell only has the Vulcans when the cloak is closed, and a Buster Shield when the cloak is open. Additionally, while you can restock the ladder instantly using blocks, it will leave you standing in place, so a well-placed Sandrock Kai can cover for the shortcomings of such a move. There ain't much to say about the Sandrock Kai past that, aside from it looking neat. However, there is a cheat out there that lets you play as some of the computer-controlled units, which includes the Sandrock Kai. This iteration comes with just 100 HP, 20 round machine gun as its primary, shuttle throw as a charge attack, Vulcans as a sub-weapon, shuttle charge as special melee, missiles as a special ranged attack and sporting two melee moves, one being a standard melee combo and the other one being a dash melee. That's about it. It's not really optimized to be used by players, so its bullets tickle and its armor is frail, but it is playable. Hopefully I won't forget to link the cheat in question in the description in case you'd want to try it as well. You can add the thing by opening the PPSSPP, right-clicking the game icon, then going to Cheats, Edit Cheat File and pasting the wall of text there. Enjoy! With that, that should be it for the Sandro Kaya Next Plus. Feel free to like and share the video, or subscribe to the channel to keep up with more releases. This has been the Shirt Lad, signing out.